Hi, welcome to Zena Gallery. My name is Zena, and I'm going to provide an energy reading for tonight. This is just a general reading. So let's see what we have. So the first message that I have, when it comes to the world, or just humanity right now, when it comes to finances, or any financial constraints, or anything that has to do with financial stability, possibly no work, no money, no... Um, outlets or shortcomings or anything that is just causing a restraint or a constraint on financial stability or financial abundance causing anxiety or stress or worry make sure the message here that i'm getting make sure you're like staying in prayer believing in your prayer using your intuition tapping into your crown chakra your third eye just really using your intuition for any uh, healing or any type of... The more you're healed, then you can kind of see from a better perspective. Um, something could be causing the financial constraint because we're not coming from a, a great perspective, okay? We're stressed out possibly stressed out about the money but looking at it logically what's the best next step that you can create an opportunity or possibility for a more simpler way when it comes to personal healing and personal happiness and possibly um, any type of abundance okay so let's see an example possibly if we've been at a job for so long and there's no growth maybe it's time to let it go even though we don't want to or transition into something that is a little bit easier and more healthier for our mental health or our physical health um, when it comes to finances possibly taking a different job that's not so stress if there has to be a pay cut or something like that the message here I'm just getting is um, humanity the world and a lot of financial constraints or the lack of abundance and causing a lot of anxiety and stress um, it's blocking the intuition blocking any type of downloads that come from most high God um, when it comes to, uh, you know, our wellness overall and our possibilities and in our opportunities. Um, let me keep going and see. <clears throat> so I'm getting, just make sure you're taking action on, uh, when it comes to communicating with most high in God, your Holy Spirit. So that you can get that uh, spiritual communication and downloads on what action needs to be taken. And having faith and having belief that, you know, Most High God has the best action plan for you when it comes to mind, body, spirit, and work-life balance. Um, not fearing financial constraint. Not fearing worldly matters. Not fearing anxiety. Not fearing... Um, that there aren't going to be any opportunities or any possibilities, not fearing that, um, you know, due to any lack of anything or poverty or, you know, maybe bills or, you know, lose, losing things or possibly, you know, our personal happiness and healing is being stripped away from us. Just make sure you're not living in that mindset and staying there okay um you know take whatever time you need to kind of be stressed about things but just make sure you're not staying in that make sure you're saying your prayers and taking action and when you're taking action not having fear that you know god is not going to open the door for you most high or that there's not going to be an opportunity or there's not going to be any personal healing or personal happiness or any type of abundance and that's just what I'm getting I'm getting 
you know, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot going on when it comes to storm warnings. I mean, we're obviously in spiritual warfare. Everybody's in a different chapter. Everybody is, you know, going through their own situations. You know, you have blessings in abundance. You have karma. You have spiritual warfare. You have debts. You have a lot of things that are taking place at this time. But just make sure from a personal perspective, individual perspective, uh, spiritual development, um, the drive and the motivation and the strength that you have within your own personal self, make sure you're taking enough time to tap into action when it comes to getting out of this type of energy or you know just lack of abundance um, mindset or poverty or making some adjustments and not allowing the storm to wash you away into the storm so I'm getting like you know if you believe you can get through the storm you can but if you don't believe then you're not calling on most high and God and asking for the assistance of you know making these things happen into action or asking for the strength or praying for strength or clarity or praying for to have the mindset to think because you can't think because you're stressed about possibly um, you know the lack of something poverty make sure you're calling on most high so that you can manifest that mindset on making things happen for yourself. Let's see what else. So I'm getting, um, when it comes to. So that was the first message I got here. This looks a little bit different. Let's see what else is coming through here. So before I jump into the next message, I just want to send a lot of uh, healing energy, uh, clarity energy, mindful energy, um, any type of abundance or any financial abundance or stability to out into humanity or anybody who needs um that type of energy to you know get started on believing that you have an opportunity to get out of you know poverty if you're experiencing poverty or even if you're not experiencing poverty but you're thinking poverty okay everybody has an opportunity for growth everybody has an opportunity to have uh, abundance okay it's not just all about finances this could be this could apply to living lifestyle health um, work family relationships so just make sure you're not thinking lacking poverty or lack mindset scarcity scarcity thinking when it comes to experiencing you know the beautiful fruits of your labor and the time that we live in right now in this world you know it's all in a mindset okay so i'm sending a lot of uplifting energy out into humanity into the world at this time and sending a lot of love and all type of help um, out into the energy collective okay all right so let's see what else what I have here is make sure you're resting rejuvenating getting some of that sunlight when the Sun is out um, possibly there's a community or any community activities make sure you're limiting your time on that so that um, you can get enough rest and rejuvenation I'm getting a lot of rest and rejuvenation when it comes to any um, attachment energy or any hostilities stuff like that uh, let's see 
make sure you're focusing on your journey, okay? And not focusing on any type of uh, hostile energy or any type of attachment energy or any type of emotional energy. So I'm getting, like, overly emotional. Um, now is not the time for that. Like... If you're overly emotional just as an individual, as a person, just make sure, like, you're getting the help that you need. You're talking to somebody, possibly being, you know, not holding these things inside, finding a support group. Or if it's somebody that you that can help you, make sure you're reaching out. Make sure you're having patience. Make sure you're focusing on what is it that you need for your journey, okay, and communicating, communicating communicating so that you can have control over your life force en energy so I'm getting like vitality by communicating and you can have more energy in your vitality okay your life force energy make sure you're communicating when it comes to um, most high and God okay your path your spiritual path your temple path your holy path make sure you're really set aside time okay an action when it comes to communicating so that you can get that spiritual nourishment is what I'm getting okay let's see what else when it comes to any type of um, double mind double mind double mindedness make sure you're walking away from that indecisive energy right now is not the time to be second guessing or double minded about nothing, about anything. Work life balance, mind, body, spirit. Now is not the time to be double minded about none, nothing that is indecisive, indecision, wishy washy. Make sure you're walking away from that so that you can keep your balance, right? If you are in that indecisive energy or indecision or just wishy-washy or back and forth and you just don't know, confusing energy, you're never going to have balance, okay? Those are two separate situations. It's either you want balance that doesn't, that doesn't come with indecision or you just want indecision. But you're going to never have balance if you just want indecisiveness or double-mindedness, all right? So make sure you're walking away from that if that's what you're looking for. When it comes to, let's see, yeah, I'm just getting, um, if you are, it's okay to focus on your independency, I'm getting, um, and it's okay to possibly feel alone or feel sad at times. Just make sure, what I'm getting with that, just make sure you, what is it, sometimes you have a bad day, or it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad day, maybe you wanted to have a happier day, so just make sure you're not letting that cross over into your life, as if, example, oh I had a bad day, but it makes me feel like I have a bad life, so just make sure you're not allowing bad days to consume making you feel that you have a bad life and that's in your vitality so your life force energy okay so that's mind body spirit what you're thinking what's what you're saying and how you're feeling okay so be very mindful of what remarks you're making out of your mouth what you're thinking when you're alone and what you're doing with your time okay if it's not making you feel uplifted it's not healing your heart it's not making you feel loved then that's not what you should be spending your time on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just make sure you're focusing on uh, putting in the work to receive your harvest is what I'm getting, okay? Or to create a harvest. Putting in work to create a harvest. Putting in work to receive a harvest. That's where the energy should be focusing on right now. And that's the message I'm getting. Where are we at? 14 minutes. I'm going to pull just a few more cards and then we'll be finished. I'm just trying to go a little slow so I don't see if I miss anything. And this is just a, um individual general reading, humanity reading, uh, 
spiritual discernment, uh, self-development. You know what? I think that's it. Is that it? Let me see. I thought I had another deck. Uh, let me see if I can use this one without moving my camera here. Give me one second. <clears throat> all right so energy reading spiritual development self-development just with a general reading what's going on with humanity so let's see what we have here this one is a uh... all right so the message here is Make sure you're unleashing sensuality and that sensuality can assist with healing the heart, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm just getting a lot of heart healing, heart chakra. Finding things to make your heart feel happy. Um, make sure you're having a little bit of ginger in your routine, okay? And that's for soothing the mind, body, spirit, and stimulating, okay? So heart chakra healing, we got a little bit of uh, soothing and stimulation. Let's have ginger, ginger, ginger. <laughs> I'm, I must be tired. I usually, I'm up late, but <laughs> I'm off, so <laughs> I've been sleeping. Okay, sorry guys. All right, just the last couple of messages, and then that's it. <laughs> um, oh, make sure uh, you're adding lemon, <laughs> and uh, because it helps with cleanses and uplift. So these are really good. All right, so um, sorry. All right, soothing and stimulating ginger in your routine, lemon in your routine for cleanse cleanliness and uplifting energy and these are really good because these are good for energy grapefruit if you can have grapefruit helps with uplifting and detoxifying okay so not necessarily you have to eat it but if you can have them around cut them up put them around in your energy or in your routine that will be really really good when it comes to uh any um incense this builds awareness frankincense okay so make sure you're getting a little frankincense um in your routine all right let's see is there anything else i think we're gonna end it there lemongrass lemongrass alleviates and regenerates okay so it alleviates any type of stagnant energy any pain um and it regenerates okay for new for new energy or to make you just feel better overall okay and i think that's i'm gonna stop there we're at 18 minutes all right let's do one more a little distracted by uh, I think I'm getting tired now. All right, all right, let's see. Okay, fennel um, encourages communication and self expression. So, fennel, I mean, fennel, I have uh, that in a tea. Um, you can get it in um, essential oils, or you can do as a possibly like a hot steam. But I, it's a really good energy when it comes to encouraging communication and self-expression. So just make sure you're adding fennel into your routine. Um, those are the messages. Those are a little bit of healing energy. So I'm sending that energy um, as well into the humanity reading. And in the reading uh, previous to, I was getting a lot of um, encouraging self-expression and communication. So how you're thinking and talking to yourself when you are alone, okay? Um, so I'm getting that heavy. All right, so that's the message I have for today. My name is Zena. Thank you for watching Zena Gallery, and I hope that you have a beautiful night. Take care. Bye-bye.